a KTLA exclusive. She says she was just riding her bicycle when deputies pulled her over and roughed her up. And this young woman is just one of many making allegations toward a troubled pair. That story coming up. And hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Jim Castillo. We've got a nice look at... A young woman who claims that she was racially profiled and then brutalized by police officers while riding her bike home and now is suing over her injuries is speaking exclusively to KTLA tonight. Our Carolyn Costello is here with a complex tale of officers accused in both this case and a separate one at the hospital. Carolyn. Well, Leela Glenn, back in December, we first showed you surveillance video of a deputy involved beating outside a hospital in the Antelope Valley. Now, a young woman says two of the deputies involved in that beating brutalized her. Both stories are part of a big lawsuit against the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. This surveillance video shows a deputy arriving outside the Antelope Valley Hospital, greeted with a handshake by the man who called him there. Suddenly, the deputy throws a punch, and the man who called for help is beaten and arrested. Attorney Brad Gage represents the man in the video. He says the deputy seen throwing that first punch is Jeremy Eswine, and Gage says Eswine is known around Lancaster for racial profiling and excessive force. Eswine hopped off the car, asked me where I was going, pulled me off the bike and just forced me on top of the car. Nakia Wise says Eswine pulled her off her bike at 8 o'clock at night as she rode home from a friend's house on January 11th. She says Eswine was joined by a second deputy, Curtis Foster, also seen in this video, joining in on the fight. Foster put me in the headlock, choking me to the point I was just coughing. They kept asking me where I was going. They kept asking me if I had something on me, if I had any warrants or anything. I told him, no, this is my first encounterment with the police. Nakia was arrested and cited for riding her bicycle at night without a headlight. It's an infraction, okay. but it shouldn't be something that results in a headlock and choking. Nakia is now also being represented by attorney Brad Gage. Gage says deputies like Eswine and Foster are repeatedly targeting young men and women in Lancaster because of their race. He likens Nakia's story to that of Trayvon Martin, the Florida teenager whose death has led to a national outcry. Out here it's a lot of racist people that judge African Americans by their color. I mean, I experienced it all my life, but I still never came into it with the cops into this year. And we did reach out to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department for a comment. A spokesperson did not get back to us. A spokesperson, though, did speak uh, about that incident that was caught on tape that we just showed you back in December and denied any wrongdoing on the part of those deputies. Glenn? All right, Carolyn Custer.